What could be worse than losing your NFL team to the city you hate most? How about just losing all your NFL football? Period. Oh, I'm having a liver pain. All right. All right. So what's happening right now? Oh, boy. Well, if you haven't been paying attention to all these huge salaries that these NBA players are making these days. Incredible. Speaking of NBA, Michael Thompson is going to be joining us coming up at 3.30 today. Um, you know who's really taking notice are NFL players. It's 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 it's. I mean, it, it floors them when you look at what NBA players are getting guaranteed. By the way, and a lot of these guys are who who just got paid what? And you're an NFL player, and you're thinking, I'm doing what to make my money? That's not guaranteed. Yeah. Well, okay. So the question is, I mean, for instance, it's okay if Steph Curry's making forty million. You get it. Mike Conley's making thirty-five million. Has never made an All Star team. Thirty-five million guaranteed every year. Thirty-five million dollars. And the highest salary player right now in the NFL is Derek Carr, uh, who signed a deal to pay him twenty-five million dollars yeah. in salary. So Richard Sherman brought up something. And I've, I've been talking about this whole dynamic of NFL salaries and how it is that baseball guaranteed money, no matter what you do, you could be hurt out forever. Every cent of that contract is guaranteed. Same with the NBA. But in the NFL, the only thing that's guaranteed is when you get that bonus money. Yeah, Your salary is only guaranteed if you're on the roster of that team. You get released on See the ya. eve of the season, you yeah. get zero, zero. So, what's the resolve for NFL players? Well, Richard Sherman brought it up, Costa. So, I want you to close your eyes right now. Close your eyes okay. and imagine this. Are you ready for some strike? <laughs> That's right. NFL strike Wait, that, wipes out the entire season. I know the lyrics to Hank Williams Jr. song. Strike is not in there. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's it really, when you look at it, it's their only alternative, isn't it? Well, think about this. All right. I, I can go back from my own experience back in 1987 when I was working for the Raiders when they had their second major strike. But this one was met by the NFL's counter, yeah. which was replacement games. Right. Now, I don't know how many of you out there are old enough to remember. I watched By the way, them. if you're a Charger fan, you remember them because the Chargers were 3-0. and Rick Neuheisel, right? Rick Neuheisel, who had been with the San Antonio Gunslingers of the USFL. Yeah. All right, so let me tell you how that worked and how it had applied to 2017. So this was 30 years ago, and the NFL had had a strike five years before that in which seven games were el eliminated. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a no. nine-game NFL season, especially with the economics of today's NFL? So in 87, the owners were ready for this. So what they did was they played the first two games of the regular season, trying to negotiate a new contract, didn't get it done. Players walked out. They figured we're going to do exactly what we did five years before. But this time, the NFL had an answer. Replacement players. Was there? Was it a two-week period? They, they, they canceled took... a week. So one okay, week of games okay. was canceled. Okay. And then the following week, they're back with their replacement teams. And the one advantage they had was USFL had just folded. So there was a lot of former USFL players uh, floating out there. The teams like the Raiders had Vince Evans yeah. uh, as their quarterback. Well, and not to mention all the guys who had probably just been cut or released from camps who were still in some modicum of shape as well. Right. So they 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 were able to bring in replacement players. But again, the danger about being a replacement player is scab. Scab, exactly. Scab. And so that kept a few guys maybe on the outside looking in. So they brought out the replacement players. The NFL stadiums were more than half empty. It was a nightmare. It just was ridiculous, low-level football from what we had seen previously. But what happened was is that several NFL players realizing that when you're on strike, your paychecks are disappearing. Yeah, why Why doesn't my <laughs> wallet feel as thick in my back pocket as normal? So they crossed the picket line. Who Do you know who the Howie first Long was? Howie Long was one of the guys that crossed. I Howie Long did. Yeah, there were, there were a number of players that started crossing, big-name players. And once that, even one guy crossing the picket oh, line. Oh, the damn bricks. That was it. Yeah.
And so after three weeks of replacement games, they wave the flag. NFL owners win. And we haven't seen really a concerted strike since. 